This is the Old Musician's Blog, number 72. I've been working outside quite a lot today, and um, I've planted the plants in the ground, and they're a little bit traumatized, I have to say, so I may have jumped the gun on things, but I don't really know enough enough about it to know what the problem is, but the the older leaves, not the uh, new shoots, but the older leaves on the plants are showing some signs of, uh, of trauma. And so, uh, well, I haven't been really doing anything about it. I've just made sure that they have water and uh, I've been watering the garden and I have a lot of other things. My beans and my peas and my radishes and all of that stuff is coming up, which I've never done anything like that before. So, um, I'm happy. Um, I'm having a good time with it. That's, let's just say that's a good enough uh, uh, way of looking at it. And uh, um, we had uh, a nice uh, meditation this morning. We have a nice a group of small group of friends that come over and meditate um, uh, 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 with us on a Sunday morning, most Sunday mornings. Not everyone, but but quite a few of them, and we just have a silent meditation. There's no real talk, and then Lucy makes a nice meal after. She usually makes a quiche that she makes with a, a hash um, a brown potato crust. It's got a kind of crust. Instead of using a pie, it uses this, um, this uh, hash browns because then gluten-free people can eat it. And uh, Doug is gluten-free, and I don't know about uh, Naomi and B. And uh, sometimes, well, that's who we had today. Sometimes Sean comes over. Occasionally Beth will come over. Sometimes Jill might come over. Um, it's a very nice little group anyway, and everybody feels easy enough with each other so that you're not working at trying to keep up appearances or any of that kind of thing. And um, I'm... Uh, uh, I, I, it's good to have a meditation group because the meditation group it, it at least gets you to actually, you know, apply yourself to meditating uh, once in a while, and um, uh, 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 you know that's a good thing. It kind of levels out. It levels out the consciousness. And everybody left early. Lucy went to. Um, Look at some gardens that a friend uh, has who has a big um, iris garden. They have all the different kinds of irises. So she's gone over to uh, look at that and to, uh, you know, I said, take some pictures. You know, she asked if I want to come and I'll, not really, um, but I'd like to see the pictures of it. And, um, and I'm happy uh, here on the land just um, doing, you know, <laughs> taking my pills, look, there's some pills up there, look, there's some other ones there. It's like, yeah, we got a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, stuff that we take as, as pills and, uh, uh, you know, to try to keep ourselves alive a little bit longer because life is good right now. And, uh, 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 you know, I know I'm old and, um, you know, my hair is all fallen out and, and, uh, you know, I, I, you know, we, you can't tell how much longer, you know, what your life will be like, or if you'll live long, or anything can happen at any time, however old you are. But it certainly, um, you certainly visit that sense of mortality a lot more when you're old, and. Um, uh, uh, you know, it's okay, it's all right, you can accept it, accept it, you know, because really, you know, you can't really do much about it at the present time. I'm certainly an advocate of um, of uh, longe longevity uh, uh, methods and therapies and uh, substances. I hope it'll be a substance because I don't like the option where they chop you in pieces and replace your parts with mechanical things and all of that. 
that's the trans one of the transhumans visions but i think the future will have uh, a sense of um, many different choices and i would like it if one of the choices was uh, you know to uh, take some readily available substances in some combination that uh, caused you to uh, um, uh, 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 you know have the fountain of youth activated within your cellular being and uh, so um, you know have yourself grow younger by the year that would be interesting I think they made a movie about that but I, I don't think I ever saw it but it would be a good one to look up the, the guy gets starts off old and he gets younger and younger and younger I don't know what happens I guess he turns into a baby and I don't know if he um, vanishes into his cellular options at, at the end of that or what but uh, um, uh, uh, but uh, anyway it's interesting to think about though it's kind of interesting to think more that you could maybe reverse the, the uh, objective so that you grew younger and younger and then you grew older and older again you could go you know you could um, oscillate uh, between a certain uh, um, uh, uh, desirable age range that uh, you thought was interesting for that particular time and have um, uh, uh, some cognizance of your entire experiential lifespan at the same time as it seems such a waste that as, as one as we get a handle on what it is that life can mean and do and, and be for us that often we're, uh, we've also grown old and, um, uh, you know, uh, decrepit and uh, um, senile and uh, 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 immobile and dead, uh, you know, so that, you know, one's um, uh, mortality is uh, investigated, you know, uh, uh, usually from the point of view of, uh, you know, wishing it wasn't happening to you, you know, and I think that that's the case for many, many uh, 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 people. Of course, it, in one sense, one solves one of the, one of the, probably the greatest mystery of life, which is what happens? What happens when you die? We don't know the answer to that until it happens though some people seem to have direct, more direct experience um, uh, and, uh, you know, have had uh, near-death experiences and these kinds of things. Still, without, um, you know, uh, residing in the prolonged space of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, a non-biological body, um, uh, uh, you know, for a period of time, you know, in t until one can have more of an understanding of what the meaning of, of that um, mortality is. It was interesting because I know I've touched on this subject before. And um, when we were playing at the Pebblestone the other day, uh, um, I, I walked, I, I was nearby to a woman who was talking to somebody else at the table. And she was talking about how she had um, been facing her own mortality and was feeling that um, that uh, 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 she just would allow whatever was natural to happen, and that um, that th that had taken her onto some kinds of insights. And I thought, yes, I've I've spent some time in that place. Also, of course, one doesn't really know how one's going to react. Uh, uh, to uh, you know, finality of these issues until they they actually occur, um, uh, uh, you know. And yet, I hope and and I hope that you know that um, you know, given the ability to uh, to uh, you know achieve a meditative state and to uh, reside in some form of a 
conscious awareness that it might be possible to ride the wave into the non-biological state as a conscious um, effort to uh, 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 understand, have direct experience, be a, a, a part of this um, great wheel of time that we're, we're all riding on. <laughs>